Jenny. Hey, hi, Amy. Hi. You hear me before you see me. Put the mute button on Geo. <laughs> hey, Coach. Love you too. <laughs> Hi everybody, Debbie Day. I played in 91 and 92, pitched and played first base. I am currently in my 19th year as the head softball coach and senior woman administrator at California Lutheran University out in Thousand Oaks, California. I have a husband and a 26 year old daughter, so two children. And <laughs> Hello, everybody. I'm camping right now, so you can see in the background. I'm actually uh, my first time. Um, but I played from 92 to 95, and I played first base and a little DH. And um, I currently live in Camarillo, California, after living in Tucson for a really long time, for 21 years, and work for a biotech company called Amgen in Global Regulatory Affairs. And I have two kids who are almost 18 and 15. I think that's it. <laughs> hey, it's Jenny Dalton. I played 93 to 96. Um, started off splitting time with Krista Gomez at second base. And then um, she graciously let me have that because I couldn't go anywhere else. <laughs> I'm married. I live in Lexington, Kentucky. I have three kiddos that are all in college. My oldest plays baseball. My daughter plays softball. And my youngest is a golfer. Hi, Leah O'Brien. I um, played a lot of different positions. I came in as a pitcher and played some DP my freshman year, and then I got moved to center field uh, for my sophomore and junior years, and then my senior year went back to first base. And I live in Southern California. I've been married for 21 years. I have three boys, and I've homeschooled them for the last 14 years. And I just do some traveling, some speaking, a little bit of commentating, um, softball clinics. I did a lot with Jenny Finch. Um, and then that kind of wrapped up a couple years ago. And so now just kind of whatever opportunity is a little bit of business speaking and, and just really enjoy getting to share about all of our success with, that I really started to learn at, at the University of Arizona. I'm at softball practice right now. The, my name's Nicole Giordano. This is my daughter, Naomi, and my You're other Nicole 12 children out here. Okay, <laughs> girls, get back to practice. Say bye to Coach Kendra and all the girls. Say congratulations. <laughs> so I played at Arizona 1998 to 2001. Should have had two national championships, but we only had one, which was still made it even more worth it. Um, I was an outfielder all four years, even though I thought I was a pitcher, but Coach Candrea thought better. <laughs> and so I never got to pitch. But um, yeah, now I'm just coaching my daughter's team and giving lessons and trying to give back as much as I can for the great things softball has done for me. So, Hi, everybody. Krista Gomez. Uh, I played from 93 to 96. Uh, as Jenny said, we were battling at second base for a while, and then she beat me out and uh, played some outfield and then went to third base, which I'd never played for in my life So and had the best of times. Um, I am living in Corona, California, where I've been uh, teaching and coaching at Centennial Corona. Um, been a math teacher for over 22 years, and I have three girls. Uh, one will be a freshman this year at Fullerton, uh, Cal State Fullerton, playing softball. And I have a sophomore in high school and then a nine-year-old. Say hi. Hi. Oh. <laughs> My name is Becky Lemke. Well, now it's Becky Blatnick. I played at U of A from 1998 to 2001. I was just a pitcher and um, I am now married. I've been married 16 years to my husband. Come here, no? Anyways, Brian, um, and we have two boys and they are 12 and 13. Hi, Brandy Shriver. I played 94 through 97. Um, I live in Peoria. I teach uh, fifth grade. And I have three kiddos, a junior, a sophomore, and a seventh grader. Two, my two older ones play soccer, and my youngest one plays volleyball. You know, we used to talk about getting to the door and knocking it down. They're the ones that knocked it down and really gave us an opportunity to go out and recruit uh, some of the very best athletes. All of these young ladies that I'm looking at right now um, have made as much an impact in my life as hopefully I have in theirs. And I think that's that's when you know you got a good situation, you know, because um, I always tell people one of the neatest things about my job is I get to coach them for four years, but then I get to watch them 
grow as young women for a lifetime and be a part of their family. And, you know, they were winners. And I, I really believe this, this group here, there was no doubt in my mind when they took the field, it wasn't a matter of whether they're going to win or not. It was by how many. And I really think that they, they set the foundation for what Arizona softball is all about today. But it's such a statement to everybody. And, and I love how much coach pushes tradition and who came before you. And I've always felt so welcome and so celebrated every time we walk in there as Wildcats. It's just an amazing feeling to be included in all the new stadium pieces and to know that, um, that he really believes that we are all part of that, even though, you know, I'm 30 years removed. <laughs> You know, I think of the Debbie days that I came behind and didn't get to play with and we didn't have social media to watch them. But I know that group set the standard. And I was so grateful to come in with Krista, with Jenny, and to just learn from those who had had that success because of the leaders like Debbie, like Susie Para, like, you know, the others who kind of set that stage. Um, when I came into the University of Arizona, I just felt inadequate because there were so many good athletes around me. I was in a new position. I was splitting time. Being able to win that very first one, I think that really set the standard for what my expectation would be for the next three years. And not only did we win in 93, but then coach shaved his head, which I thought was ridiculously oh. nuts. That, that was, was awful. <laughs> never, never broke back. Awful. Never did. That year that Jenny tore up her ankle and was still playing short and had to have surgery right after that. I mean, that just blows my mind. I mean, the girl can go through absolutely anything. Um, she was all about team, always completely about team. And that's one thing that she taught me uh, was just to be less individual and more about the team. And that's how we were going to win all the national championships that we did. So she always, always was there supporting me, whether we were battling second base or I was trying to learn the outfield or trying to learn third base. Um, she was always there for me, supporting me. And she's just one of the best athletes and people that I know. Lauren was my roomie our freshman year. We were in the um, dorms together and we, it was funny because we kind of, we were together too much, but she had my back and we were still good friends to this day. Just such a good support. So probably Lauren Bauer. I mean, but all my teammates, I love my teammates. I feel so lucky, you know. I think I miss the camaraderie, the team. Um, certainly miss coach pushing me and I'm um, getting the best out of me and certainly my teammates like Chevy and Kristen Dalton. I mean, they just were all, we're all still close. And um, I don't know, I, I miss seeing them every day and, and O'Brien and it's just, they're amazing people. And I'm just so grateful and blessed that I had the opportunity to, to be there for four years. And my favorite uniform was the all blue. Um, I just like the color. I, I, um, I just thought it was kind of a, uh, he came out there with a little bit of a swagger and a statement in it was in our way uniform. And it was also, for some reason, I felt like the material was stretchier than the old polyester ones. And I know you all know what I'm talking about. Coach always liked the all whites. So when we had a chance, whenever he had a chance, we wear whites. Well, I've always wanted to get them in pinstripes, but they'll never do it. <laughs> no. you know? oh, but don't you guys remember the gray uniforms? We wore them one time, we lost, and then we never wore them again. Never again. Never. We, never, we, we never all got so once. comfortable. We got them when they were brand new, and they looked so never good, once. and we lost, and we knew it was going to happen. We're like, never. <laughs> we're never going to be able to wear these again. I will forever remember our game against UCLA and I had a bad game, and he came up to me at Old Chicago and said, I said, <laughs> my parents were laughing so hard. I don't, I don't know. I love it. That's still, that's still one of my favorites. We love you too, Coach. Thank you so much. Coach. Love you, Coach. Oh, appreciate all you girls. You guys are awesome. <laughs> I know. Can we just do this on the side and you guys move yeah. on? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you guys hold up and we're going to stay in chat for a little while. This is been great, you. even though I feel like the grandma of the group. Uh, <laughs> you are. Not at all. You started it all. <laughs> okay, Debbie. The legend. Thank you so much. You guys all look the same. You know, it's Love you guys. Thanks for everything Thank you guys have done here. Love you, everybody. Love you guys. Bye. 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 Love you guys. Bye, Coach. Bye. Love, love everybody. everybody. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.